Hi everyone, welcome back to 51 GT3 Racing School. In the last episode, we talked about how to get a brand new car ready for use, but the car is not yet ready for the actual competition, it needs to be run in. The working conditions of the racing car will be very harsh, so the car needs to be run in to reach the standard competitive state. Today, as a test driver, I will work with the technicians and show you how to run in a new car. This job requires the cooperation of drivers and technicians to complete. The first step is to communicate the running in task with your technicians. The technician will tell me the specific steps to break in. The second step is to check whether there is an alarm on the vehicle display. After the car leaves the station, run a lap and immediately return to the pit area. The technician checks the data with the computer. After confirming that there is no problem, we officially start to run in. In this step, we run in the engine, gearbox and differential lock. The steps are that the engine speed does not exceed 6000 revolutions per minute and run for 20 minutes to carry out the running in of the gearbox and the engine. For the run in of the differential lock, the vehicle accelerates early in the corner and maintains the accelerator signal and gradually adds the throttle when exiting the corner so that the differential lock can be successfully involved in the run in process. Next, enter the break in of the brake when the driver confirms that there is no abnormality. Run the first two laps at a 25% braking force. Run the next lap with 50% braking force. 75% braking force for another lap. And run one more lap with 100% braking force. Then run three laps with 75%, 50%, and 25% braking forces respectively. Go back to the pits after running one final cool down lap. The top is the brake disc that has been run in and the bottom is the brake disc that has not been run in. Through running in, the surface of the brake disc is smoother, and the combination of the grooves of the brake pad and the brake disc ensures a better contact area, which can achieve the best braking efficiency. After another check by the technicians, the new GT3 is ready to hit the track and complete its first official lap. Finally, we return to the maintenance area. After the engineers finally confirmed that the racing data was normal, the 992 GT3 officially completed all the preliminary preparations and reached a state where it can participate in the competition immediately. A good running in can make the vehicle achieve the best performance, so this step is very important and requires professional engineers to cooperate with the driver to complete. That's all for today's episode. If you want to learn more about the technology of racing cars, let us know in the comments section. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.